Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release Wednesday. Coming at you with some triple threads. 2021 Tops Triple Threads Baseball 9 box. Pick your team number 6, which filled before 5. First to fill, first to break, as you know here at Jaspies. Big thanks to, so it's from a fresh case, big thanks to this group here for getting into the action. Pick your team 6. If you're watching live, pick your team 5. We're just halfway through a random number block filler. And we just got to do that. And then we're in break, so we can do one back to back. Brendan with the Diamondbacks, last spot mojo, 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Or so they say. Allegedly. All right, so let's open this case here. So let's mark those cases A and B. So we're going to roll the die and 1, 2, 3 for A and 4, 5, 6 for B. Let me just slide these out of the master case here. All right, we're going to select a die. We're going to select that die right there. And once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's one. So we're going to do case A. And then case B will save for pick your team five. Damn it. Pick your team five. I marked myself with a Sharpie. Nobody wants Sharpie marks on their one of ones. All right, there's there's Piggy Team Five, which which should come up later, a little bit later tonight. Let's roll with this one. All right, so there's three boxes here, three boxes there, and three boxes here. Ken Griffey Jr. on the box. Good luck. I, I warned them, Rex. I warned them. I told everybody, first to fill, first to break. They had the power to change that narrative. They chose not to. Mike is saying, Mike Tower was talking about, before we started this video, about this uh, buttoned up um, set, which are one of ones, three buttons in a patch. And Mike's in, there's like 96 more of those cards. Well, I guess Mike Trout was pulled, so I guess 95 players left now. It's pretty awesome. All right, to 199, Alec Baum. Randy Johnson to 259. Jordan Alvarez to 299. And Tony Gwynn to 199. Get this here. Once again, here, another quick look at the checklist for uh, checklist, name list, team list for Pick Your Team Six. Before I put it right over here. All right, 
right, so behind Jeter is going to be Leody Tavares, 75 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph for Leonard and the Texas Rangers. Behind Derek Jeter is Carlos Correa, 43 out of 48. Piece of his jersey. Going to the Astros, that'll be for Tim. Behind Belly, Bellinger is a triple relic. 9 out of 36. Going for distance, Javier Baez triple relic. That's for Raymond and the Cubs. And behind Bellinger is Nate Pearson. Three out of 50. Rookie auto for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Mark and the Blue Jays. Nice. Next box. Yeah, hey, local, I hear you. I would love to get that obsidian done. Let's get those fillers filled. Let's get those fillers filled, fillers full. Do at least one of those fillers tonight. Get us one step closer. Booney, what's going on, man? Saw a gorgeous trout one of one wood auto relic pulled as well. Relic spelled out birthday mojo. Ooh. Yeah. Piece of wood would be pretty cool to see. Ooh, a plate down there. Not, It's not an autograph, but it's a base plate. And it's going to be... It's going to be a giant... That's Joey Bart. One of one printing plate, Joey Bart. And that'll be for Ross. And my rivals, the Giants. And Ross, as you know, out of fives and under, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's a good spot for for Joey Bart to do an autograph right there. Could be, could be the future Buster Posey, maybe. There's Kershaw to ninety nine. And then we've got a Greg Maddox. One more. And a Cal Ripken Jr. Actually, let's do these numbered cards first. There's Rhino to 150. You're welcome, Ross. Thanks for getting in. Matt Chapman to 199. Been doing well, Booney. The game's been keeping us busy. Been pulling a lot of stuff here. There's Buster Posey on its way to you, too. Base card. And we've got a triple relic and autograph, Dylan Carlson, 41 out of 50. Dylan Carlson, is he a Rookie of the Year finalist for the NL? I think so. That's for the Cardinals. That'll go to Chris Butler. I slept on my back a little weird. I don't know what the, uh, MLB.com site is kind of terrible here. Rookie of the year. Finalists. Can I, can I get that? I guess CBS sports is going to give that information to me. Yeah. Your rookie of the year finalists, uh, Dylan Carlson, Jonathan India and Trevor Rogers for the Marlins. I think Vegas has, has Jonathan India. There's Jake Cronenworth. As one of the big, uh, one of the big favorites to uh, win Rookie of the Year. Six out of ten, Jay Cron Six out of eighteen, Jay Cronin and Worth. Two color patch, and that'll be for the Padres. That's going to go to Harry and the Friars. Xander Bogarts. Behind Kyle Lewis is a Roberto Clemente. Six out of nine, Legend Triple Relic. That's pretty cool. I've heard of him. 
And it says game used memorabilia on the card. That's awesome. That's Harry and the Pirates. It's game used material right there. That's really cool. Congrats. Nice low number, too. And back here, another Jake Cronenworth. It's all Harry. 16 out of 99. Two-color jersey and autograph. I think most of, this, most of this box was yours. Except for the Carlson, which went to Chris, who's happy. Nice box. All right, next box. AL Rookie of the Year finalists are Randy Arozarena, Wander Franco, and Luis Garcia. So two Rays and an Astro. I think Arozarena probably... Well, I don't know. Who takes AL Rookie of the Year? Dylan Carlson again to 299 for the cards. Bryce Harper for the Phillies, 45 out of 75. Kirloff, Yelich. William Mays to 125. I really like the, the colors of the parallels this year. Nice texture in the background. Really good job. And Daryl Strawberry to 150. Triple Relic and Autograph, Christian Javier, 8 out of 35 for the Astros. Tim with the Strohs. And we have Jay Cronenworth. Get into the Crone Zone. Yeah, he sure did, Mike. And it was the car the back of this card says he only hit that grant. It was only a It's a walk off grand slam that just didn't clear the wall. If it wasn't out of the park, he had to, he had to run around the bases. That's kind of a cool fact. There's Buster Posey. 24 out of 36, first ballot Hall of Famer. The clock is ticking towards his eligibility. How long are you out? How long do you have to be retired before you do that? There you go. Ross with my rivals, the Giants. And behind Cal Ripken Jr. is Tristan McKenzie. 22 out of 75. Rookie auto for the Tribe. Chris Walker and the Cleveland Indians. Cleveland, this is for you. Had a great season last year. All right. First third of the case done. Another box. Five years, says Ross. All right, nice. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure Buster Posey will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. You don't think Posey's Posey's not first ballot? Mark Delara is saying, I think Posey's. I think he's first ballot. I mean, a catcher who was a rookie of the year, MVP, seven-time All Star, three-time World Series winner, four Silver Sluggers, and a catcher with a batting title. The catchers are usually are usually measured a little differently. I know he doesn't have the counting stats. 
like the home runs and the RBIs and stuff like that. But I think all those other accomplishments, I think we'll we'll get him we'll get him first ballot. Ted Williams, to 259. I think catchers are usually measured measured a little differently. Red Sox, Ted Williams, Shane Bieber to 299. Ty Cobb to 299. And there's Xander Bogarts to 125. Because you know, I I don't think I don't think catchers are not held to the uh, held to the same standards as uh, you know as as hitters. You know, like other position players in terms of the counting stats. There's eleven out of seventeen out of twenty seven. Nolan Arenado, lumber and leather. There's Joey Gallo, 66 out of 75. Jersey and autograph, still Rangers edition here. That's going to be Leonard. I don't know. Post also, also lifetime 300? That's pretty good. I know. Look at me. Dodgers fan making a case for a, a dirty, dirty giant. There's a pitcher of the month, CC Sabathia, 13 out of 27. Mark with the Yankees. And we've got JT Real Muto, 9 out of 36, piece of his jersey. Is Yadi a first ballot Hall of Famer? All right, next box. I think Joe Mauro probably is is a first ballot Hall of Famer. If I had a vote. I don't know. The lack of World Series though. Maybe that maybe that slides him into a second ballot Hall of Famer, but And I hate I hate to say it, but I think I think like Buster Posey and those three World Series also also really helps. And I know chips don't chips don't really count as much. I think for other like chips like World Championships, I don't think matters for like a center fielder, right? But when you're talking about a catcher who's you know leading that pitching staff, I think that adds a different element to the equation. At least for Hall of Fame voting. It's Fernando Tatis Jr. and Matt Chapman. Don Mattingling to 150. And Alex Kirilov to 259. There's Rafael Devers, 10 out of 18. That's for the Red Sox. So Hollywood and Mark saying Posey's not first ballot. Chris Butler and I are saying Posey is first ballot. Josh Josh Jaspi saying Buster Buster Posey's first ballot Hall of Famer. Let's put it to a poll. Is Buster Posey a first ballot HOF? Only this official official poll could help. 
Let's ask our community. It's in the chat if you're watching live. There's Brady Singer, 36 out of 75, jersey and autograph. Actually, no, that's a very good question. Who is the last first ballot Hall of Fame catcher? Brady Singer for the Royals. Brett Myers. Uh, Royals were a late pickup, too. And we've got a triple relic, triple auto, one of one. Woo! I don't know what's going on here. What, what is this? I'm not sure what the relics are. There's almost an ex there's a window over it and a little bit of like infield dirt. It says you just received a touch them all three player triple relic. So that's Tatis Jr., Machado and Hosmer. But let me take it out of the top loader really quick. I know it's kind of hard to see. Take it out one last time. So you can see there's like a window over the relics and almost like infield dirt. What's that supposed to be? I mean, it looks like it says Padres on there. Like the font is the team font, right? You can see the letters right there. What is that? It's awesome. Glove, maybe, Mike's thinking? No, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, but it's not fingerprints. It almost looks like they're, it's like infield dirt right here. Oh, maybe it's maybe their gloves then? If it's like touch them all, it's a piece of their gloves behind an extra window? But I usually don't see an extra window. Bases, Riffer is saying. Piece of the base? Oh, maybe this is the where it says Padres, like the Padres tag on a base. Game use bases. Riffer and Amazing saying. That's awesome. Padres were picked up straight up by Harry. Harry. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That is awesome. So it must be like the like the badge on the side of the on, on the side of the bag. All right, and over here, Buster Posey, eighteen. He we heard he heard us talking about him. Our poll, twenty votes, sixty two percent. He says yes. Buster Posey is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Thirty eight percent say no. Feel free to vote, ladies and gentlemen. In my head, uh, in my head, I thought it was, it was like clearly he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, but there's some people pushing back on that. So feel free to vote. We'll see what the poll says by the end of these boxes. So if you're watching live, in the chat, in the blue section, there should be a, a place where you can place your vote yes or no is Buster Posey a first ballot Hall of Famer look at Pudge's career accomplishments compared to Posey but I think guys like Posey and Piazza are probably I think they're unique because they did hit those like kind of big home runs. You know what I mean? They were more like these power hitting catchers. And I think all the other Hall of Fame catchers, I think, I don't know, maybe I haven't just dug deep enough into this, but 
a lot of times Hall of Fame voting is about what what you know your gut says, right? I mean, everyone agrees he's a Hall of Famer, but I guess first ballot is really like we're, we're splitting hairs at the end of the day. But there's Ozzy Smith, 14 out of 99. I, yeah, Salvador Perez has got to be in the running for Hall of Famer. There's Anthony Rendon to 299. And there's Johnny Bench, 15 out of 75. Slu brings up a good point. Um, who else retired this year that could be a possible Hall of Famer? Yeah, if there's other people competing for votes against him. Now oh, the Lakers are going to overtime? What do we have here? Do we have extra hits here? Yeah, they're going to overtime. Two-color triple relic and autograph. Luis Garcia, 44 out of 75 for Mark S. Was Piazza not a first ballot Hall of Famer? I guess not. Was Pudge a first ballot Hall of Famer? Mark S. and the Nav. I should look up, like, Hall of Fame catchers. I can't. I don't think there's a lot of Hall of Fame catchers either. All right, and we got a single jumbo relic, Jacob deGrom, to 27. DeGrom goes to um, Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. I think we got three hits here. We got Legend Triple Relic, Cal Ripken Jr. to 18. That'll be for Leonard and the Orioles. Uh, Chris Butler saying Johnny Bench is the only first ballot catcher in the hall. Someone was, someone was mentioning Pudge as well. No, Yachty's playing one more season, Big Rig. Cal Ripken goes to Leonard. We've got jersey and autograph. Randy Arozarena, 12 out of 50. I think his rookie cards were last year, but he still has rookie of the year eligibility this year, and he's in the he's in the he's on, among the finalists. That goes to the Rays. That'll be for David M. And we got a bonus hit here. Sam Huff for the Rangers. 008 out of 199 for Texas. That'll be for Leonard as well. All right, three boxes to go. Still have a chance to weigh in. If, if you don't want to, if you don't want to debate in the chat, you can just vote in our poll. That's in our chat, in our live chat right now. If you're watching live, twenty-five votes in. Question is: Is Buster Posey a first ballot Hall of Famer? Twenty-five votes are in. Sixty-four percent say yes. Ah, Chris Butler, fact-checking himself, says yes. Pudge made it on the first ballot too. So Bench and Pudge are the only first ballot Hall of Famers or Hall of Fame catchers. That is. That's a lot less than I thought. Riffer's asking, "What about Yogi? Yogi Bear? Was he not first ballot?" Let's play two to two ninety nine. Professor to one twenty five. Braves. Dalbeck to ninety nine for the Red Sox. And this guy. Triple Relic and Autograph, Tanner Hawk, 32 out of 75. Red Sox, that's going to be for Patrick Davis in Boston. There's Rafael Devers, 16 out of 27. Another Red Sox for Patrick.
Got uh, power in the two hole. Josh Donaldson, 11 out of 27. Triple relic for the Twins. That's going to go to Jarrett K. And AJ Puck is your jersey and autograph. 79 out of 99 for the Athletics. Mike with the A's. Booney's got a little trivia for us. Which catcher has the most career home runs? Hmm. Is it Pudge? I know he's got a lot of home runs. Oh, is it Pia Piazza, maybe? Fisk, perhaps? I mean, Fisk was in the league for like 40 years, I feel like. I feel like Fisk was in the year in the league for like 50 years. He must have like logged in some logged in some dingers. R racked up the counting stats. Alifonso saying bench? I honestly don't know. There's Joey Bart to 199. Max Scherzer for the Nats, 259. The Kid to 259. Luis Robert to 299. We got a redemption back there. There's Cabrian Hayes. Will the Thrill, Honus Wagner, Hammer and Hank Aaron. Behind Judge is a Triple Relic, Max Scherzer, Juan Soto, Steven Strasburg. 8 out of 27. Behind Aaron Judge is a Jersey and Autograph, Wilson Contreras. 53 out of 75. Jersey and Autograph. For Raymond and the Cubs. Piazza's correct. Fact checked by Big Rig. 399. There should, there should be like a Mr. 3000 situation where Piazza should come back to the league, try to get 400. There's JT Real Muto, 25 out of 48. Piece of his jersey going to the Phillies. Raymond. For the Phillies. And the redemption. You didn't see it, right? The redemption is behind Bryce Harper. It's congrats. Someone is due to receive a base rookies and future phenoms autograph relic card onyx. I think to 25 maybe? It's the black parallel. That's going to be... See Atlanta? Yeah, Atl Atlanta Braves, Christian Pache. That's kind of weird. We pulled we pulled a redemption for Joe Adele um, in the last inner case. And it didn't have the city on it, it just said Angels. This one has the city on there, but anyway, here they're for the world champs. Matt Lieber with the Braves. All right, and the third and final box, and the last box in which you can vote, 31 votes in now, is Buster Posey a first ballot Hall of Famer? I think everyone agrees that he's going to be a Hall of Famer. But I guess the splitting of the hairs is, is he going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer? 62% say yes. 38% say no. So feel free to place your vote in this highly official poll. Super, super official. Whoa, is this, a, no. Oh man, I got trolled. I thought, I thought there was a book in there for a second. 
All right, Donnie Baseball to 299 for the Bronx Bombers. Manny Machado for the Friars to 125. Anthony Rendon for the Halos to 150. And let's play two to 199. Last set of base cards here. And the last hits for pick your team six. Extra base hits, Reese Hoskins, seven out of 36 for the fight and fills, Raymond with the Phillies. Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers. Is he yawning right here? He looks like he's, ooh, he's a little tired. Hmm. 47 out of 75 for my boys in blue, Mark S. I mean, he's probably being like, yeah! But it almost looks like he's yawning. All right, there, there's Will Clark. And behind Daryl Strawberry is Yachty. Three out of three. Top defender, triple relic and autograph. Entering the last year of his storied career next year. Nice. Christopher Butler. Three out of three. I feel like there was a Dylan Carlson in there somewhere too, so that's a nice break for the cards. Chris, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And the last hit is Luis Robert, 8 out of 27 for the White Sox. Mark with the Southsiders. And there you go, everybody. What a break. No randomizers to do. Because all the teams were picked up straight up here in Pick Your Team 6. Let's do a quick little recap. That's pretty great. Thanks, everyone, for watching and for breaking with us. I appreciate it. We got, I think the RPAs, Liam, are are uh, are on the card. Like that. And that. And that. That plate was Joey Bart. Future Buster Posey, maybe. And there's Leo Tavares started things. And of course, the one of one triple relic, triple auto. Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, and Eric Hosmer. Touch them all. Piece of the base. Looks like the looks like the Padres badge on the base, if I had to take a guess. Pretty awesome stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. That was the brand new 2021 Topps Triple Threads Baseball, Pick Your Team 6, which filled before Pick Your Team 5. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.